Hello YouTubers, welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master Hoffitz, again joined by Dalton. And uh, we're going to be looking at a beer from Three Floyds that was sent to me by my subscriber Andy, so thanks a lot to Andy for the beer. This is going to be your first Three Floyds beer, right? First Three Floyds, I'm super excited. I've heard nothing but great things about this brewery. So Yeah, what I've had is checked out. Yeah, what I've had has been really good. And this is their Dreadnought Imperial IPA. I've actually had this. Uh, or Jakob had this at the um, Meet the Brewer event at the McKellar Bar. Um, I just had a sip. I can't really remember how it is though, because it's, it's uh, like over a year ago. But it's a 9.5% says here. A Hophead's Dream Beer. This Imperial India Pale Ale has an opening salvo of mango, peach, and citrus hop aromas that sit atop a pronounced caramel and malt backbone. Although Dreadnought is a strong and intensely hoppy ale, its complex layer is both smooth and memorable. And I think right now this is like the number one double IPA on Red Beer. Ooh, that's yeah, something I like uh, so. I'm super excited. Number one or number two, it's pretty up there, so. Yeah, well, that's a freaking badass cap, too. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So what color would you call this? Um, wow, that's kind of murky. Yours is more murky than mine. It's probably because yeah. you got the bottom part of the bottle. It's, it's like it's like a nice gold, though, I mean. Yeah, gold and orange or something like that. Yeah. Mine looks more yellow, though. Yeah. yeah. It's probably because I didn't get any yeast in there. You can, oh, kind of, you can smell that vibrant hop character already. Yeah, it's definitely. like a one finger kind of uh, white head. Yeah. Let's take it out. All right. Oh, yeah. This kind of it reminds me a little bit of the acclimated IPA. It's got that real yeah. bright, bright. It's got vibrant, a nice, vibrant, sweet. citrus. Yeah. I definitely see the mango, like the passion fruit, the tropical yeah. fruit notes in there too, for sure. Like a, lot a, of, a lot of tropical fruit, really sweet. Yeah, really sweet, really tropical, fruity peach notes in there again. The orange, tangerine, mandarin orange, all those sweet citrus fruits. A little bit of grapefruit, but this is like real juicy, yeah. super juicy. You can you can get like a the smallest bit of malt towards the end, like yeah. It's not entirely. It's not as yeah. It has kind of like straight. a slight sweet maltiness to yeah. it towards the end. It's not like just hops in your face, but still, it's the hops that are yeah. Dominating. It smells. Smells super, really, really intensely and hoppy and super refreshing. It's good to taste. All right, cheers, cheers. Ooh, wow! That is super balanced too. Yeah, that's incredible. It's, it has like a, <laughs> it has like a sugary taste to it almost. Yeah, you would expect a lot. Kind of like a grapefruit sprinkled with sugar. Yeah, you would expect like a lot. Of there's a heavier bitterness, but it's it's. It's, it's, oh, it's like just bitter for a second, and then it just mellows out. Wow. Yeah, like a medium mouthfeel, it's dry. I like that sugary feel. I had an IPA yesterday by Tool that had that flavor too. Mm -hmm. And it, this actually feels lighter than it is. 9.5%, you don't taste that at all. Oh, not at all. Um, I don't even really feel like the warm is. No. Just... And it's like, it's. I get a little bit of a piney sensation to it too in the back end of mm -hmm. the palate. But also, like, the, the flavor is definitely dominated by hops. But it has that sugary feel to it. And then almost a little bit of the sweet maltiness to it. Um, nice tropical fruit hop yeah. taste. A lot of mango. Lots yeah. of mango. And, and That's the, the biggest, fruit. I think, like, most dominant. Yeah, like, mango hop, yeah. right up front. The passion, kind of a passion fruit flavor, too. Maybe some pineapple. Super... Like it's that's what I use for term a term I've like started using for real hoppy beers. I call it that it has like fresh hop juice. It's like yeah. you take a hop pellet, and you squeeze, squeeze like juice out. Out, out of it, even though you can't really squeeze juice yeah. out of a hop. But it's it tastes like that because it's it's real. It tasty. does. It's it's super fresh. I mean, and this bottle is real fresh, right? Yeah. And yeah. Andy said he bought it from the store like the day they got it in from the brewery. So wow. And he sent it out the day after. Yeah. The package, so this is super fresh. You think you you think you hear Imperial IPA and you think it's gonna be super aggressive, super bitter, but I mean people who don't even like particularly bitter. Yeah, they could drink IPA it has could a drink sweetness this. to balance out. Yeah. So it's not just a bitter monster. Um which is real nice. And a lot of the Definitely. kind of like that nice peachy flavor to mm -hmm. it in there. I think this is a great, great group of beer. It no really is. This is really nice. Three Floyds just makes some really good beers from Yeah. Time. I mean, first impression is good. Yeah. I really like this beer. Um, what grade would you get this in? Mm. You know, uh, I I do like really hoppy beers, but I like the fact that this isn't just hot bitter yeah. in your face. Me too. Um, it makes it super drinkable. I mean, 
I think this could be even more dangerous than that acclimated. Oh yeah. That I had. In. Yeah, because that acclimated had much more bitter. Much more bitter. This is I more could bitter. I could drink this all day, which would be yeah, you'll stay floor. <laughs> <laughs> I I gotta give this one um, it's a ninety five. Ninety five? Yeah. I was thinking the exact same thing. I was thinking ninety five because this is a freaking phenomenal yeah. double IPA. I'm impressed. Uh, super hoppy, super fresh, and all that kind of hop. That's like it's it has exactly what I like in IPAs, like the fruity hop profile, of the tropical fruit. So this is great. Um, really good stuff for mm. sure. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, guys, remember to let us know what you think of the Three Floyds Dreadnought Imperial IPA if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. Thanks to Andy for sending the beer, and thanks to Dalton for joining. Always. It's gonna say cheers. Cheers. And we're gonna see you guys in the beer review.